everyone today we are going to perform that to purify purify the organic compounds by crystallization method for that process we have to require some chem materials like chemicals chemicals means acetaldehyde acetaldehyde is required for this process and distilled water also and for that its process we have to we have to require some apparatus like conical flask like beaker it may be different size of beaker is there then glass rod then funnel and measuring cylinder different size of measuring cylinder volume of measuring cylinder is there spatula then filter paper along with that magnetic strainer also there as well as for water bath also required for this process then go for our principle if you see that principle of this method the method employed depends upon the nature of the nature of the matters to be separated and purified crystallization is one phenomenon which is involved in the product production of pure crystal from solution after dissolving the impure substance in a suitable solvent or mixture of solvent the choice of the solvent is very important in this process water or any other organic solvent like benzene petroleum ether ethyl acetate methyl alcohol or ethyl alcohol chloroform etc can be used here ether could be avoided whenever possible for its high inflammability a distinct relation has to be existed between the com constitution of the organic compounds and the solvent so they may be undergo into the solution it is also assumed that the solvent should not react chemically with the substance to be purified it should be dissolved in the impurity readily it should be formed crystal of the pure component compounds it must be capable to easy removal from the crystals of the pure purified compound in some cases mixture of two of the solvent might be used especially when a substance is highly soluble in one solvent and sparingly soluble in other solvent the mixture of the two solvent can be used for crystallization purification by crystallization may be improved by means of some absorbing material such as animal charcoal or bone black then go for experimental procedure process as it is explained above and crystallization of acetal light from water first one place about 10 g of acetal light in 600 ml of conical flask but we are having only this now i am showing that this is the 250 ml but we are also having that 600 ml flask at water gradually with constant stirring by using that magnetic bead also until a clear solution is formed then number 2 filter it by using suction by using our suction some suction filtration method or maybe by using that buckler funnel also or then set aside to cool while crystallization is complete filter through the solution filtration collect the crystal after drying weighing them and calculate the percentage yield of purified crystal now you see that calculation part so that 10 g according to the procedure we have taken 10 g of acetylene so that's why that 10 g of acetylene gives for example after doing that recrystallization that will be x g of pure acetylene so 100 g of acetylene will gives x by 10 into 100 that will be the percentage yield of actual pure acetylene compound